welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am going to be using my Madame Glam gel polishes to create a set of neon animal print nails that are actually inspired by the lovely Sarah Britton. She is the lady that um, that taught me how to taught me my hard gel. She got me my hard gel qualification. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, I'll leave her Instagram down below. And I'll put a picture of the one that inspired me in a minute um, up on the screen. But first, uh, this Madame Glam gel polish colour is called Flirty. It's from their new, I think it's called Purity Bundle. Uh, there's, they've just released four new gel polishes that are sheer. Um, that are perfect for a French manicure base, if you want to do a French. Um, there, are two, there are three more other colours in the set. I think I just said there's four, but they are slightly sheer and apparently they're slightly opal as well, which I didn't realise. I think it was opal. I don't know. Anyway, um, I have also got apple bite, peach pie, spring fever, tulips and lavender springs. Mm, very pretty, very pretty. I've put a line of those on a, a, a dollop of each one in a line on my palette. And what we're going to do is the... The nail beds that Sarah done on her nails were wiggly, and I, I thought that was quite cute. I, hers were even cuter because they were on shorter nails, um, but I, I just really like the design, and I thought I'd love to do that, but using brighter colours. Hers were... Oh, let me put the picture here. Here we go. There we are. So hers were like black and white and gold, and I still want to use gold because I thought the gold would be nice. Um, yeah. <laughs> so you just make a wiggly if you're not very good at doing nail beds smile lines sorry these wiggly smile lines are perfect because they can be as wiggly and irregular as you like you know what i mean you know what i mean and then just to make it easier for me i'm going to take the brush from the bottle and just fill in the rest of the the gaps if you want to you can use madame glam's white gel paint but there this cut this gel polish covered quite nicely so i just done one coat of that and as you can see from the up the top i'm just covering it up now i have done a second nail using the white as well and then i believe sarah done two with a black free edge i can't remember i haven't got the picture in front of me i'm winging this I'm pretending I can see the image and I can't. But she had, I'm sure she had two, or were they, they were white. No, two, she had two black free edges on hers. Now, I thought I'd make two of mine, instead of mine being black, I thought I'd make them colours, coloured, colourful. More bright colours, not black is what I'm trying to say. So I chose purple and pink because I thought they would be the most popular colours. Again, I filled in my wiggly smile line. Now I'm just going to fill the outside free edge bit in with the gel polish from the brush in the bowl because it's just quicker. And yeah, then you can always go in with your detail brush and, you know, even any bits out. And then this is me also doing exactly the same thing with the pink. I love this pink. It's really nice. Did anyone watch the Eurovision Song Contest? Because I am being reminded of Mika. Is it Mika? Mika. Mika. I think it's Mika. Um, his fabulously pink suit that he wore towards the end. No, or was it halfway through? I can't remember. But didn't we do well? And didn't Ukraine do well? I felt like they really needed that. So I think it was really good for them and really good for us because we haven't done that well in the Eurovision Song Contest for years. Some of you are probably like, I don't watch that rubbish. I actually really like it. I can't help it. <laughs> But there we go. I only watched the final though. I don't watch all the run up to it. And actually, I really liked it this year because I actually really liked Sam 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 Song. Sam Ryder, isn't it? I've probably got his name. No, I'm sure it's Sam Ryder. Anyway, shut up about that. Now let's get on with the nails. Right. On the white ones, the ones with the white free edge, I've got a dotting tool and I'm gonna take a little dollop of each of the colours I've got on the palette. And we're gonna start to do our animal print design now this is probably one of the most easiest animal prints you can do i can't remember the name of it leopard something like that 
leopard design i don't know but i wanted to get all five of the colors on even if the dot just slightly hangs no like that just slightly comes off the edge doesn't matter as long as i had all the colors in and then that's obviously gonna, gonna get a cure and i've done the same on the other white nail the colours are in different places. And then we're going to do exactly the same on the full white nail, only we're going to make the dollops a lot bigger to cover the nail. And I'm only going to put five dollops, one of each colour that we've got on the palette. I don't want any more colours or any more. I don't want multiple dollops of the same colour. You can do that if you want. I could not be bothered. I thought, you know what? Five big dollops evenly scattered across the nail is going to be enough for me especially if you've got a shorter nail do you know what if you've got a shorter nail like if you're doing a set of short nails you might only want to do like four colors it's up to you not five you know each to their own as i say horses for courses and all that malarkey i had to give all right this is madame lamb's gold gel paint i love their gold gel paint i think it's a beautiful gold it's like um more of a champagne gold by the way i've done three sets of nails today have i done no i've done two sets of nails i've edited three videos this is the third video i would have edited all in one day can you adam and eve it i cannot it's crazy this is really good for me but there's things i want to do tomorrow <laughs> So that's kind of yeah right and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around those little when i do these little thingies i like to do you'll see it on the bigger nail especially but i actually don't show you me doing that i kind of like do do like two swoops down each side and then a little dot um in the middle of the swooshes around one of the circles you'll, you'll see one of the dollops not circles you'll see what i mean in a minute but i'm gonna do that on i'm also going to outline the gold colored um free edges as well so can you see can you see what i've done on the big on the bigger animal print nail hopefully you can see i don't know and to please those of you that like glossy nails i'm actually going to use madame glam's no wipe top coat which is their shiny one this took a lot in me because i was i actually really 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 wanted to top coat these in matte and then have the the good thing about madame glam's gel paints is they are non they're no wipe when they cure they're no wipe so you can use them on matte nails and they leave a shiny they'll have a shiny look when they're when they're cured so i really wanted to do i really wanted that but i didn't i was good <laughs> oh. anyway to finish the nails off i'm gonna put one ab preciosa crystal at the top near the cuticle of each of nails apart from the full animal print nail and i'm using nelchemy's crystal totalist gem glue but if you're going to do this add the crystal before you top coat just because that you can butt the top coat up to the crystal don't go over it and it'll just if you do this on a finished nail the crystals won't last very long at all especially on a shiny surface so just saying um also the crystals are from crystal parade and you can get five percent off using my code nat5 discount codes and links and everything will be down in the description box anyway well there we go these are going to go in the lamp for 60 seconds and that is them that is them done Ta-da! i hope you like them if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing i'll leave sarah's um instagram down below so you can go and find her nails she does a lot of shorter nails and they're beautiful so do check her out uh i think that's it yep god bless and i'll see you all in the next one love you bye